Good morning everyone. So it's a very bright sunny day today and it's hot. I'm sweating already. I think we can see a level coming. There we go. Um, hello. Can you say hi? Say hi. <laughs> He's confused, wondering what I'm doing. Level. So we're going up to the pig farm now, to the pig house. And this is the biggest change that has taken place here since we left. So when we left a month ago, there were about 10 or 11 mothers and a handful of piglets. Um, but our farm has been hit by the disease that has been spreading across Nagaland. And unfortunately, all our pigs got sick. And as of two or three days ago, the last ones died. So let's show you what it looks like now. <laughs> Here comes Libo in the car. <laughs> There are two diseases that have been spreading. They've declared it as an epidemic in Nagaland um, among the pigs where swine, I think it's African swine <coughs> flu and something called PRRS has affected loads of pigs. And once they get sick, there's not much hope of them surviving. So here we go. This is the pig house. Um, we've had some men working very hard here painting the whole thing with lime because apparently lime kills any bacteria, any germs that are remaining from the disease. Um, so here we go. It's empty. And this is Kauri Taka, eh? Kauri Taka, Taka, Taka. Kauri Soup, Marissa. And it's not only in a farm, but it's been happening in almost everywhere. Yeah. In Agalin, at least. I know there are a lot of people who have same farming like us have also shared the same challenges and then the problems that they are facing at the moment. Yeah. We can so only see a chicken here. This is a serious, so serious issue for farmers at the moment, for pig farmers. <coughs> um, many of them took loans to start their farms, to start their businesses. And within one or two months, everything is wiped out. Um, so they're left hel helpless and hopeless and they don't know how they're going to repay their loans and what they're going to do to survive. So <laughs> if you know any pig farmers, contact them, find out how they're doing, how their pigs are, just to give a bit of moral support as well because that really helps emotionally when the farmers are going through something difficult. <laughs> So when we came this morning, it was a very bright sunny day. But now it's just pouring down rain. And Lima's dad, among all the other farmers, are really struggling to accept what has happened. Um, but we hope that maybe we can start rearing some chickens or something for a while and see how things go. Hello. <laughs> Hello, where are you going? Eh? Eh? <coughs> oh, there's smoke. Let's move away from the smoke. So, anyway. So, there's the update. There's the sad part of the farm. The farm doesn't feel quite the same being here now. But we hope that something new will come up to give us hope, to give him a sad hope. Bye-bye.